Howdy folks, and welcome back once more to Let's Play Might and Magic 3. Today, uh, probable shenanigans. I think we're going to go putter about in the swamp, not the swamp, the, uh, the desert to the south of the swamp. To get to the desert, we have to go through the swamp, but, uh, we won't be actually doing anything. I think we've basically done everything, well, we haven't done everything we can here. I don't think, let me have a look at my map. I wish I could scroll this. Like, there's a pyramid out here. And let's see, we did the dungeon here. There's that one Minotaur spawn. I'm curious to see whether or not we can take that thing now. The... That we killed the Dragon Lord last time tells me that we are more or less ready uh, for endgame now. The Dragon Lord is one of the hardest monsters in the game. Minotaurs are also up there. Uh, but they're mostly, like, super nasty because, uh, they have incredibly high armor classes for whatever reason. Uh, so before we go get ourselves killed in the, in the, uh, the deserts, I want to actually putter back over here. Let's see if we can kill this thing. Okay, front row can't hit it. That I expected. Implosion. Ooh, resistance. Okay, all right. Fair enough. Let's... Let's start throwing some buffs. We'll do this, you know, slowly. I'm not too worried. These things appear to be pretty well resistant to magic, I guess. Man, I wish druids had a less shitty spell list. Holy shit. It's all so bad. So bad. Ah, there we go. Okay, so we just need... Ah, uh, some heroism going. So are you guys, like, legit, or do you just have save bonuses? I think they might legit be immune to magic. I don't know. Wow. All right. So the other thing about minotaurs is I think they're worth, like, three million experience points each. I really should dig up the clue book. Then I could be, like, giving you... No. Then I could be giving you guys, like, blow by blow, 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 blow by blow, uh, like, monster stats and stuff. Kind of like what I did with, um... Where are we? And Might and Magic 2. I don't suppose. All right, we do not have the key. This is this might be the Maze of Madness right here. I think. Ah, uh, that's the Maze of Madness is probably maybe tied for the the Dragon Caves as like the hardest dungeon in the game, outside of like endgame stuff. Okay, but like we have to do. We have to do, like, the two castles, Blackwind and Greywind, as well. Actually, no, we don't. The whole reason to do those is so that you can find out the code that you need to put in at the very end of the game. But since we went through that one outside of, like, uh, Fountainhead, it actually gave us the code, 645231. So we can actually skip those two things. Uh, we are not gonna dig that up. I seem to recall the last time we dug one of those up that bad things happened. I'm gonna save first, and then we're gonna dig it up. Yes. Oh, it's just vulture rocks. We can probably kill these things now, if I had to guess. Yeah. These are another enemy that's worth, like, millions of experience points, by the way. Let's see what kind of goodies we picked up here. Fuck. All right. I also, I looked it up. Uh, rings? You can wear ten rings, apparently. Sure, why not? An exacto halberd and a helm of incinerating. What's he got on? Brass. I'm gonna go ahead and just ditch this brass helmet. And that'll be something he can do that'll deal damage. We might actually recharge that one. Alright, so we've got some obsidian here. What kind of armor? She's wearing platinum plate. He's got obsidian padded. Alright. We gotta we gotta move stuff around. I'm gonna give the obsidian armor to swell. God almighty. Just drop the silver charm. Give... Obsidian padded a chunk for now. Obsidian plate. Okay, what's he sitting at? 136. Okay, so the gauntlets are probably gonna go to chunk. If I, unless he's got, like, some crazy good gauntlets on, which he, I believe, does. I don't know, he's just wearing platinum. Like a fucking scrub of some sort. Alright, here you go, buddy. We go ahead and remove those and equip that. Platinum gauntlets will just pass down. Uh, let's see, what are you wearing for gauntlets? Oh, you actually have obsidian gauntlets already. Shit. All right. Well, she's got steel. Just ditch those. Because Rove's entire inventory is, like, full of just garbage. 
Okay, so she has an ebony mace. We'll drop that. I do not want to remove anything. We're going to drop her ebony mace, and I'm going to give her this obsidian club. She's probably still not going to be able to do anything with it, but hey, you never know. The, like, plus 20 or whatever to hit that it gives you might be worthwhile. Okay, so I want to see. Yeah, those ACs are looking pretty good. So if I remove this, is obsidian padded better? Yes, it is. Holy shit. Fucking padded armor made of obsidian. So amazing. And a photon broadsword. Ooh, I could give that to Swell. I don't think the strength is going to be worth it, though, admittedly. Okay, platinum plate armor. Nobody can use this. We can sell it. I think that's probably worth like 50,000 gold or something. Some absurd amount of money. Those are one of the things, like, if you want to spam duplicate, that's what you want to do it with. And then you get somebody with, like, the merchant skill. Normally when you sell things, they're worth half their full value. The merchant skill lets you sell them for full value. And so, there you go. That's how you... Fucking rove. Rolling around in the garbage again. Let's see. Cure disease. We'll nap. Uh, we'll nap in an oasis after murdering some people. Because that's what we do, being adventurers and all. Okay. And we will just get uh, heroism going again. That seems to be sufficient. Heroism is like such a ridiculously powerful buff. I love it. Alright, we'll save. This is some go good, uh, good loot finds. Wealth of experience. I just... Uh, how much gold do we have? Let's see what this thing actually does. We have 840,000. Yeah, we'll throw a coin. Drop 10,000 and you'll advance. Sure. Oh, that's 50 levels. <laughs> Look at that hit point total. All right, that's nifty. At 10,000 gold pieces of a, uh, a character at this point in the game, it's basically free to do it. I'm never going to use it, but it's there. Sure. Oh. This might be a challenge. Or maybe not. It might be a challenge. Uh, we have... Hmm, I don't know if Mass Distortion will... Oh, no, it did. Nice. Fucking rove botching implosion spells, fucking scrub lord. How do you even do that? Wow, so now we know we can take on three vulture rocks, and I think Chunk's insane. Oh, no, just diseased. It's so hard to tell. There, how are we looking? Wow, we're not even... <laughs> we're not even in that bad a shape after that, holy hell. And we, we're probably sitting on, like, multiple levels at this point. Boots of Mass Distortion! The gold leaf. What else we got? Velocity, an exacto flail. Exacto out. Get obsidian plate mail. Alright. Here you go, Devon. Pass that up. See, what armor are you wearing? Obsidian leather. I think that's actually probably better than obsidian padded, but whatever. And we'll just hand it. We'll ju we're just passing this shit down, man. She's got obsidian ring mail. Holy shit! I think Rove might actually be able to wear that. Where's just pearls of you? I see these pearls. I looked up what these things do. Uh, you can get robbed on the sea, and if you have one of these, that's all you lose instead of a bunch of money. So I'm actually gonna just dump a bunch of them because they're like, as far as I'm concerned, a waste of inventory space. I think we're gonna give we're gonna give Rove something nice. I think I actually have. Yeah, we'll give him this obsidian dagger as well. There you go, Rove. You finally have an armor class that's in the double digits. Look at that. Brunhilda once more leading the pack. Fucking ridiculous, man. Seriously, you guys? We are the wrong party for you to be harassing out here with your flaily swords. Yup, Death Locust, smashy smash. I'm sure there's probably also like a uh, barbarian outpost out here somewhere. Nope. Get out of here. The darkness of the cavern. Yeah, let's enter this. What is this? The magic cavern. Have we been? I don't think we've been in here either, have we? No. Ooh. We have a new dungeon. What hell spawn await us within? What time is it? 9.30. Okay, we got plenty of time. Guardians. Good joke. What else you got? We got arrows, too, if you guys want to... 
these things remind me of... They remind me of something from Zine, but I can't place what. Oh no. Oh, is that just... Magic liquid flows in this cavern's pool. Are those just like... Okay, so those just dispel our, like, wizard eye and stuff, so nothing too crazy. It doesn't dispel party buffs. If it dispelled party buffs, I'd be salty. But I don't mind recasting, like, wizard eye. Alright. We have magic pools. That means we save first because the game's full of bullshit. You gain understanding and wisdom. Reload. No. Load, I said. Rove needs more mana. I should be giving him to, like, well, no. Devon doesn't really need him. I like that he's, like, his his personality and intellect, I don't think I've increased them at all. He's running with, like, base spell points here, and he's still got, like, plenty. Purely due to my ignoring him. Oh. All right. Uh, teleport. Oh, you fucks. Well, we got it. Let's see what's in front of us. A sorcerer. Sorcerer comes up to the party and is like, I shall turn your bones into dust while you still live. And Brunhilla just throws a knife into his head. What do we got? Dragon breath. Already got that one. All right. Uh, is there anything else? Intriguing. No, I don't want to teleport. Give me wizard eye, you shits. Nope. Although... Mm, having to rebuff light and stuff is going to get annoying, I think. Mostly because it's a waste of time. Let me hotkey shit game. Ooh. Saving. Fireball. Sure, have it again, Devon. It'd be cool if, like, you could, if you found it, like, a second time, but not through a shop, that it, like, would level up the spell or something. I don't know. You know, like, a Mark II Fireball. Maybe just make them cost less mana for the ones that scale with you, because, like, it's to the point where spell scaling, it just costs so much mana. What we got? Understand? Ah, more intelligence. All right. Should I give some to Devon? I don't know. Let's see what Rove's intelligence is. I know that you hit a point of diminishing returns. Uh, only 93. He ain't there yet. He was at 712 spell points before. 756. I think the diminishing returns are probably... They are probably going to kick in now, now that he's at 100. I know they do cap at... Time distortion. Nope. I know they do cap at uh, 255. I don't know if this has the rollover bug in it. I worry that it does, so I'm probably going to stop giving intelligence to people, like, once they hit... I don't know. We'll stop giving stats to people. Should they get to, like... I don't know. Maybe, like, 200 low hundreds. No... Oh, just Guardians. I'm sure there's also a Sorcerer here. Let me see. Yeah. Howdy! Brunhilda. She only ever has to introduce herself once. She's good like that. Evil mind. Sure. I don't even know what that does. I mean, I assume it keeps casters from casting, but... Here, let's, let's let Rove do something useful. Give us protection from elements against cold. Oh, you think you're wizards, do you? Allow me to introduce you to Starburst. Now in seven delicious flavors of elemental damage. Uh, let's see. We have another pool. We have breakable water. Ooh. Oh, this one's green. Fucking Wicked Witch of the West washing off her body paint. What you got? Super shelter! Sure, we already have it, but okay. Anything down here? Oh, no, 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 what was that? The key to the maze from hell lies hidden in a stone tomb. Shit. It means we've probably missed it, if I had to guess. God damn it. I'm trying to think where that could be. This one's green, so it's... The quickening! Alright, some speed on... On Chunk, I'm not too worried about that. He's one of our better meleeists. So now, theoretically, I should go Brunhilde, Chunk, and then everybody else. Can we, like, drink from these multiple times? Ah, uh, as if you've been magically drained. Intelligence 4. See, I don't know if that's, like, the default or not. Let's do it again. Uh, 
Something's happening. I'm gonna reload. Something's happening. I don't know what it is. I don't wanna... I don't wanna deal with it. Alright, so there you go, Chunk. Have your speed. We've already gotten that. What is this guy? I wonder if this is gonna be like the advanced adventurer, maybe? There's always one. Nope, more intelligence. I suppose it makes sense. This is like a, a wizard's cavern, right? So the last time Rove drank from one of these, he gained 40 spell points. Let's see how many he gains now. Yeah, he didn't gain any extra spell points from that. Okay, so now we're gonna wanna start throwing some intelligence stuff. This is another quickening. Yeah, they're color coding them for me. How convenient. I wish they'd been doing that the entire fucking game. Yeah, even Chunk's like just butchering these people. Ooh! You got an Archmage? I don't know, it's just a Lich. Just a Lich. Just a Lich. The only reason it's even remotely a threat to my party is because of the instant death effect of its attacks. Although I think, I don't think I saved after giving Rove that, that uh, intelligence thing. It's not letting me load again. I don't know why it locks up at the main menu like this sometimes. Fucking video games, man. How do they work? There we go. And... Come on, let me click my mouse on the game, game. Windows cursor's not having any of it. Oh my lord. Be the main menu. Thank you. Alright. I think it- I think the reason it locks up is because like when it's loading back to the main menu, I just hit the L key to load and it's like, I don't know what to do. You hit a key and things are happening. Have some mana, Devon. Went from- Holy shit! He just picked up like 70 spell points from 10 points of intellect. Man, that shows you the diminishing returns that you're getting throughout this. I mean, not that he's gonna really do anything important with it, but all the same. Shit. Alright, further quickening. I'm gonna actually give this to Swell. Ideally, when melee happens, I would like the front road to go first. Brunhilda is just so fast. I love it. Alright. This is gonna be more mana. What's he up to now? Yeah, 296. Sweet. And we have shitty spells. Okay, Starburst is a pretty good spell. I can't say that's a shitty spell, but sadly only Rogue can cast it. Alas, we do not have an archer in the party. Petulance, petulance, petulance. Did I hit this one? I don't remember. I think I did. I'm so confused. I think we did, but we probably didn't. I'm just enough of a jackass that I don't think we hit that one. God damn it. Whatever. I'm gonna leave it. I don't want to risk whatever magical draining does. Alright. I just want to avoid those. I, like, we can avoid. I can't say we can't avoid all of those. We can avoid most of those by um, the jump spell. Well, there's an there's a stone coffin. Oh, maybe we're gonna get the key to the the maze of madness. Mega volts, sure. More intellect. I'm gonna save before we pop these things, just in case there's like liches in them or something. I knew it. Fuck. Okay, load. We know how to deal with these. It appears that if we have the power shield spell running, if I recall correctly, their insta-gib doesn't affect us. He said moments before his entire party got- oh, we only have... Hmm... Let's- let's nap. I've been rebuffing too much. <laughs> Just leave it off of Devon. That would be the funny thing to do. Cold... and... heroism... Cast it, thank you. Light. And wizard eye. What's up? Yeah, you fucked now, buddy. Can't do shit. 
wonderful. Also, no key. My disappointment, you guys. It's pretty substantial right now. It's like at a seven. I'll jump across this. Have we been here? Yes, okay. Well, now where was that place? We went earlier. Is it through here? Yes. Oh, you, you poor stupid fools. With your grabby hands and lack of bodies. That is like such a troll trap. On the other side of this door, it's like, hey, guess what, Lich? That is like so fucking trolly. I love it. Alright, what do we got? Inferno. Devon, can you learn that? No, I'm not Gold Leaf. Nope, Devon can't either, because he's a druid. An implosion. Alright. Like, this would be a great place to come to get some, like, freebie spells if it weren't incredibly lethal and you're gonna be here by the time you beat the game already. Is there stuff over there? Oh, god damn it. Ah. Uh, uh, wizard eye. I suppose Rove could maybe do with some speed. Generally speaking, you just want your cleric to go last. Duplication already got it. And you want your cleric to go last so that she can fix all of the fuckery that went on before she went. Everybody else you want to go pretty snappily, though. Oh, the Minotaur God guards a card. Alright, so that's one of the key cards we need, then. Fuck off. Uh, what do you got? Dancing Sword. A spell that's usually good, but we haven't really been doing a lot of offensive casting here, alas. Here you go, Rove. Yep. 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 Wow, we didn't even get anything for that. There we go. I was going to say, we didn't even get anything for popping that one open. Maximum disappoint. Stone Tomb with Frightening Dragons in relief. Alright, alright, there's the gold key and fucking 500,000 gold pieces, because that's totally a reasonable sum of money to be fine. Man! Like... People bitch that in D&D, like, if a dragon wants to lay on, like, a bed of coins, it's gonna be, like, millions of gold pieces. The dragon's in this. They lay on beds of coins. Speaking of which, I think we left a pile of gold in the dragon cave. Can I just, like... Did I leave this outside the dragon cave? I did. Yeah, I think we left a, a pile of coins in here. Because my inventory was full. And I was growing impatient. So we'll go and grab this. We're done in that cave, as far as I'm concerned. All we were in there for was the... The key that I totally knew was there. Uh, Where is it? Did I... Yeah! Some ring mail, a mall... Ooh, a scimitar. I think, I think Devon might be able to use that if it's obsidian. Genius! Can you equip it? No. If Devon can, that might be useful. Let's find out. What's he currently using? Uh, an obsidian maul. What did she find? Maul of Sunray, ring mail of enchantment, kinetic ring mail. Eh, nothing too crazy. Because, yeah, this should be, like, a shitload of intelligence, I would think. Druids are not proficient with scimitars. It's like sitting there drooling on himself, licking the walls. God fucking damn it, Devon. I have a feeling that those things are giving me the solution to something. I just don't know what it is. All right, let's get out of here. And let us... Let us town portal. Ooh, blistering heights. Okay, I just want to see what kind of levels we're looking at here. While we have money in our inventory. Couple levels. Fucking ridiculous. Ah, oh, it's nuts. And it's only gonna get worse. Because if I recall correctly, the like Maze from Hell is full of like Minotaurs and shit that are worth just an absurd amount of experience. Alright, yeah, see that's 50,000 gold pieces, and if we duplicated that... Mm. Okay... It's to the point now... Where 
Outside of, I guess, rings for the front row, I'm not really gonna pay over much attention to loot anymore. I am gonna keep these boots of mass distortion and these boots. Why do these boots? Why is it boots that have like all these ridiculously powerful enchantments on them? They're fucking boots. So confused. All right, let's throw that over there. I think that's all of our important shit, right? Yes. So we have what, three of the sequencing cards? Yes, we have three, four, and five. Okay. Now, I want to go to Swamp Town. I want to see if the key that we got is the one to the Maze of Madness. I think it is. I believe it is. What time is it? 9 p.m.? We should be okay to run down there really quick. Not get eaten by quicksand. I mean, it's just this way. We have the gold key to the Maze of Madness. Fuck off! Yes, yes we do. Is this the maze? Yeah, this is the maze from hell. The Maze of Madness. I'm an idiot. Ignore me. Uh, we want to leave. If I recall correctly, there are a lot of really nasty enemies in here. And as I said, it's swarming with, um... Uh, minotaurs. I think there's a minotaur king in there. They don't call them gorgons in this one, but they're basically gorgons. They have attacks that petrify you and so on and so on. Uh, regardless, I do think I'm going to go ahead and call it here, and next time we will be tackling the maze from hell. Until then.